Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Yeah, a really slow weekend, um, not really any movement. We've moved a little bit up, we've moved a little bit down. Um, we had one noteworthy development today. You might recall from the last video that I highlighted to you that we had a trend line here. And if that trend line breaks, that would be our signal that we could dip to the next support area, uh, not to the next support area, to the next trend line. Um, that's what I highlighted in the last video. And I have taken that trend line off the chart now, um, but it was pretty much located here. And we broke below it, retested the trend line from below, and now we see that downside pressure. It was then also that break um, I communicated on Discord earlier today. Here I still have that trend line on the chart, on the screenshot. My update to gold members earlier today was a weekend without any meaningful movements. A dip into the lower support zone could be an interesting opportunity for long positions and so on. But what I really highlighted here was the price now broke below the trend line. So this is something to observe. Obviously very steep trend lines are not so meaningful. But what I said to you in the last update was look, when we break it, that could be a signal. I mean, this is the first signal, some kind of a trend breaks. Yeah. So we broke below it and we retested. And I think exactly here at the retest point, we started to get a rejection and the, start, the market moved down. But I mentioned to you in the last update, this is not so meaningful from an Elliott Wave point of view because the support from an Elliott Wave point of view is 59,170. That's our upper support area and we're still holding it, even though it's now getting quite deep for a fourth wave. Um, so pay now, now pay attention to the to the lower support region, not the lower support region. Yeah, the lower support region anyway, but the trend line. So I just want to prepare you um, what could happen and what the next support levels are if we see a little bit more downside, which is good to see. If we see downside, there could be an opportunity in that lower support region. We're going to take a look at the live chart now. Some people ask me, uh, what's included in the membership? You know, what are the updates? Sometimes I show our signals, sometimes I show previous messages and so on. Um, I made a while ago actually on our channel page, a small video I did upload it here on our channel page. You can find it on YouTube here. Just in, in not even two minutes, it explains the membership benefits. So you might want to check it out if you're interested. Just saw a few messages in the comments. So yeah, feel free to check it out. Now let's go back to the live chart. So. What I said, it, it looks like a flat correction now, okay? So we broke below the first trend line. That's indicating some kind of trend is breaking, but it's not really from an Elliott Wave point of view important. Just something to observe because the support here is 59,170. Now, if that level breaks, and it, it might do, you know, it, but you know, it's not broken yet. So if it breaks, then it will certainly shift probabilities towards the white wave count. The white scenario is consisting of an ABC structure in wave A. Then we could get a B wave bounce and a C wave to the downside. Pretty much for the, for the white wave count, that's what we've been discussing. It's a five wave move up, an ugly one, but it's a five wave move up. Then I'm watching for a three wave pullback. The support area is between 57,480 to 54,280. This is weak support, but it could be an opportunity because we have a five wave move up. If the market dips into this area, there could be an opportunity because good reward to risk ratio. Support might break. And that's why I said, I hold my bullish expectations quite loosely because it's a B wave support area. We know that B wave support is typically weak, but we have levels to watch. We have a tradable area. That's all we can do. And if we then see a reaction here to this support region, maybe a bit of upset momentum, you know, break above initial resistance or something, it could indicate the start of a C wave up. As long as we're holding the upper support area, however, there is absolutely no confirmation that uh, white wave B has started and that yellow wave four is getting invalidated because yellow wave four is still valid. We just have an ABC structure in wave four, which is now coming quite deep, but we're still holding support. So it's still, possible that we get another move up. So as long as 59,170 is holding, yellow can remain on the chart. And if we see a push overnight here maybe and a break above the intraday high, which was located at 60,400, then 61,550 is the next target 
because that's the next target for yellow wave three. So these are the, the, the two pathways I see. Either the market needs to turn around to the upside quite quickly for one more high, and then we can follow the yellow count, possibly, well, into the mid 60K region. We need to see how this develops because um, th this microstructure can end around 62, 63K. Mm, even though looking at the bigger picture, 67K is a key projection for yellow wave B. So it might morph a little bit, okay, and extend. But that's just here, obviously an intraday update because today, earlier today, I provided you with an update about the daily chart. And if we break support, first indication that the white count is, is clearly leading, then at some point there might be a corrective rally and another dip, and that would be circle wave B. So, and yeah, as I said, this could be an opportunity here if the market gets there. because it could set the stage for a nice C wave rally, which actually could be an impulse. So it's actually quite simple at the moment. There are two scenarios. There's a pivot in between. There's even another trend line to watch. All the levels are defined. All the parameters are defined. Should give you actually everything you need on this smaller time frame. For anybody who's interested more in the larger time frames, maybe the daily, feel free to check out the first video from today or just subscribe. And in tomorrow's video, I will cover the daily chart again. That's the update about Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.